told me on the phone, Ryan, you said, we are victims here. We are victims, and we're happy that we're safe. In the police press conference, they said, not victims, they're vandals. How do you feel about that? It's how you want to make it look like. Uh, whether you call it a robbery, whether you call it extortion, or us paying uh, just for the damages. Like, we don't know. All we know is that there was a gun pointed in our direction, and we were demanding to give money. Gunner, in his statement to police, said, at some point, someone who spoke English walked over and offered to help translate this and altercation. And he made it clear that the security guard was telling the four of you, you need to pay for that stuff, that damage, before you can leave here, or I'm going to call the police. You understood that at that yeah. time, didn't you? Yeah, so then we had to give the money. At that point, you're striking a deal. You're striking mm -hmm. a deal to pay for what damage you've caused so that he doesn't call the police, and this doesn't become a bigger incident. Isn't that, isn't that fair? We just wanted to get out of there. Um, we were held, I mean, there was a gun pointed in our direction. We were all frightened. Um, and we wanted to get out of there as quick as possible. And the only way we knew is by this guy saying, you have to give him money. So we gave him money and we got out. What I'm trying to get at is the first version of the story you told Ryan was much more about the mean streets of Rio. Yeah. And the version and we're hearing now is much more about a negotiated settlement mm -hmm. to cover up some dumb behavior. And that's why I'm taking full responsibility for it is because I over-exaggerated that story. And if I'd never did, done that, we wouldn't be in this mess. Those guys would never be in Rio, or were in Rio. Um, nothing of the, none of this would have happened, and it was my immature behavior.